year one and welcome to your next science lesson this week um, where we'll be carrying on the theme of animals. I hope you've had a really lovely day so far whether you're at home or at school and you're excited to be doing some more science. So let's have a look at what we'll be doing today. So we have been looking at two types of animals based on what they eat. So they're called herbivores and carnivores. <clears throat> and today we're going to look at how do brilliant scientists identify omnivores. So we're going to learn about the final type of animal, animal diet, and that's omnivores. So we're going to have a bit of a warm up and recap what we've done so far and the types of animals we've looked at. And then we're going to research omnivores like we have been doing. We're going to use those research skills. Then we're going to create our final fact sheet, but this time it will be about omnivores. And we're going to finish off with some lovely drawings. So what do you need today? Well, you need a pencil. And again, you need colouring pencils, but don't worry if you don't have them. You need a notebook or paper. So if you're at school, that's your topic book. And if you're at home, that's your home learning book. And you're also gonna need your science brain. We've been using our science brain so much this week, so I'm sure it's there all ready to go. So let's have a recap. We have been having such a busy week, learning lots about what different types of animals eat and what categories they fit into. So we've looked at carnivores and herbivores. And today we're going to look at omnivores. But yesterday we focused on herbivores. Can you remember what herbivores eat? Where they get their food? So here's some clues. We've got some herbivores on the side here. So herbivores, they're animals that only eat plants, nuts or seeds. Their energy comes from eating plants and not meat from other animals. So what animals did you draw yesterday? Did you draw a horse? Did you draw a cow? Maybe you drew a rabbit. Maybe you drew a tortoise. So we have looked at carnivores our meat-eating animals, and we've looked at herbivores, our plant-eating animals, and we have produced some beautiful work. But what about animals that eat both meat and plants? Let's have a look at this video. Stop screen sharing. I'm going to get the video up. Remember what I've said before, you are more than welcome to look this up in your own time. Okay. Oh, let's just pop the sound on. So you can all hear it. There we go. Herbivores omnivores and carnivores. All animals need food to survive, but what do they eat? Some animals eat only meat. They are called carnivores. Some animals eat only plants. They are called herbivores. Other animals eat a mixture of both plants and meat. They are called omnivores. Okay, so just a short little recap there. Um, touching on herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. So that's what we're going to look at today. So, omnivores are animals that eat both meat and plants, which is where they get their energy from. So they can eat either. And that's how they survive. 
Can you think of any animals you know that might be omnivores? So, humans are actually omnivores. They can survive by eating plants or meat. So we talked yesterday about how humans, you can get vegetarians, so they choose to only eat plants. But some humans might choose to include meat in their diet. Some humans might only include fish and other vegetables. So this is why humans are omnivores, because it doesn't matter which we choose, because we can still get our energy either way. So what I would like you to do now is talk to the person next to you or an adult at home. Or if you're watching the video on your own, just have a think. What kind of food do you eat? And which diet do you think you have? Are you a carnival? Do you only eat meat? Are you a herbivore? Do you just eat plants? Do you just eat fruit and vegetables? Or are you an omnivore? Who eats both? So humans are naturally omnivores, like we've just said, and our bodies are made for eating both plants and meat. And some humans choose not to eat meat. And some of the animals that are omnivores are some birds. So robins eat plants and meat, okay? Some mammals, such as mice and hedgehogs, they eat seeds, plants, and meat. And you can even get some fish that eat um, plants, such as uh, algae that you can find on the ocean floor. And they might even eat um, small fish eggs. Um, so that's animal, animal, other animals as well. These animals are all omnivores. They eat other animals or plants. So we've got humans there. We have a fox. We've got a bear as well. So our activity today is we're going to look at an example of an omnivore. We're going to look at dogs. So dogs are naturally omnivores. Dogs can eat plants and meat. Have you got a dog at home? Or do you know someone that does? What do you feed your dog? I feed my dog a mixture. I sometimes give my dog dried meat, dried dog food um, with meat in, um, but I might add some vegetables to that to uh, make it a bit healthier. I might put some carrots on it, or I might give him some fish. So I can give my dog a variety of things. Maybe you can as well. So we're going to watch a video now that will look at a bit more about what dogs can eat. So I'm going to stop my screen share. And I'm going to get the second video up. Okay. Dogs for kids. Interesting facts about dogs. Throughout human history, the domestic dog has been one of the most popular working and companion animals. Dogs have been around humans for 12,000 years. Dogs are direct descendant of wolves. There are hundreds of different breeds of dogs. In total, there are around 400 million dogs in the world. In the United States, more than one in three families owns a dog. Dogs can hear sounds four times farther away than people. 
their hearing is more than ten times better than that of a person. A dog's sense of smell, on the other hand, is at least one million times stronger than ours. An average dog can run about 19 miles per hour at its full speed. The greyhound is the fastest dog on earth. They can reach speeds of 45 miles an hour. The average lifespan for a dog is around 10 to 14 years. During its lifetime, the typical dog costs $13,500 to its owner. Dogs are omnivorous. This means that they must eat both meat and plants. Dogs eat a variety of foods such as meats, grains and vegetables. Dogs will be submissive to anyone they feel higher up in the pack. It is not true that dogs are colour blind. Dogs actually see colour, but just not as vividly as a person. On the other hand, dogs can see much better at night than humans. Dogs are called man's best friend. They perform a number of tasks for humans, including hunting, farm work, and security. Okay, we're going to just stop the video there um, because it's quite a long video. But I just wanted you to listen to that part about what dogs eat and how they are omnivorous. Dogs are omnivores. So, did you see what some of those dogs were eating then? Let's go back to the presentation and have a little think. So dogs can eat both plants and meat. And in that video, we saw um, those dogs eating lots of different things, didn't we? We saw a dog eating an ice cream. We saw um, some puppies at the start um, drinking some milk. We saw a dog eating some corn. And we saw a dog on the farm, and I'm sure he gets fed lots of meat. So they can eat either. So let's move on to our activity. I would like you to choose an omnivore to write about. You might want to draw your own dog um, or you might want to draw a different kind of omnivore. So we're going to do exactly what we've been doing um, for the last few lessons, that same sort of fact sheet that you've been doing. And then you can use all three of them um, to learn about the different types of animals and what they eat. So if you're at home, just use your home learning book again to draw a picture um, of your omnivore and then tell me some facts about it. And if you're at school, you'll again have a worksheet laid out just like this. So I've chosen to put a dog there. And I've said that dogs live in our homes or they can be wild. Dogs are omnivores. Dogs can eat meat or vegetables like humans. OK, so what I would really like you to do is I want you to include some of the things that your animal eats. What omnivore have you chosen? Where does it get its food? Maybe a human feeds it. Maybe it's a dog. So we know that dogs live in homes or they can also be wild. Do you remember in the video then um, they said that dogs actually um, descend from wolves? and have been around for thousands of years. So you might want to draw a wolf. So dogs can eat canned meat or vegetables like carrots. 
Okay, so here's some more examples of some omnivores that you can draw. Remember, we've got our fox. You can also draw a little pig. Pigs can eat both meat and plants. Or you might want to draw yourself or your family. Because remember, humans are omnivores. We can eat both meat and plants to get our energy. So, the traffic lights. So some children might want to just draw an omnivore in their topic book or in their home learning books and draw pictures of what your animal eats. So you might draw a picture of a dog and um, what food your dog is going to eat and just put some of those key words down. What makes it an omnivore? Most children can draw an omnivore in their books and tell me what it eats and where it gets its food from. Where does your animal live? Does it live in a house or in a desert? And if you want to challenge yourself a bit more, why don't you draw an omnivore and write a few sentences about where it lives and what it eats? So you might want to do what I did on the other slide. You might say a dog is an omnivore and it eats meat and vegetables and it lives in our homes okay so if you want to challenge yourself see if you can put it in some sentences and if you finish that why don't you come up with some other animals that are omnivores maybe you could compare them maybe you can compare where they live and what makes them different so don't forget to take a picture of your work to send to us teachers because we've been really enjoying seeing all of your beautiful work and we would love to see some of your lovely omnivores. So I'm going to stop screen sharing. And again, this activity should take around 20 minutes, but you can spend a bit longer on it if you like, if you're at home and you're really enjoying it. You might want to get your colouring pencils out and draw lots of lovely pictures. OK, so have a really good go and I look forward to seeing your final fact sheet about omnivores. And maybe you could compare them. Maybe you could look at your herbivore and carnivore fact sheets and see what's different about your animals. OK, so have a really good go and I look forward to seeing your work.